evening world. This is Ivan O'Mear here again. This is going to be a very interesting video. This is going to be another very interesting video. I'm going to be continuing my Lord of the Rings read along. Obviously. I'm on now I'm now on chapter 11, which is Knife in the Dark. So this is a chapter where Frodo gets stabbed by the uh, ringwraiths with a poisonous blade. And the final chapter is chapter 12. That is where Frodo and Frodo and Glorfindel, they take the path of flight through to the ford to Rivendell. And the ringwraiths are on their tail and Frodo confronts the ringwraiths. And after that, that ends book one. So October 24th, so sometime around on October 30th, 31st, I'll be done in my Lord of the Rings read along. Once I finish Lord of the Rings Relong, I'll pump out a few more side videos until till like November 10th around there. So November 10th around there, I'll be making that final announcement. I've been slacking out going over my book. I only have two chapters left. I'll be done my chapter, going over my book and what. Uh. Done my chapter what? Done my chapter. We done my going over my book at the end of October. Or early November. Let me see. And after that, I'll be done what? After I've done my book, I'm gonna start taking those long walks to the park. Because I'm gonna have to get ready to prepare myself mentally, obviously. Because I know all hell's gonna break loose for innocent Ivan O'Mara. So when I meet, I'm gonna go to the park and take those walks. I'm gonna go to the park and I'm gonna take those long those I'm gonna go take I can either go to the Virvalje. The Virvalje is like a 10 minute walk from here. But it's a really, really big park and it's it's kind of creepy at nighttime. It's, it's like dark and there's no lights. So when you when you sit on the bench, it's, it's dark and it's kind of creepy. But the one on the one the one over here, which is five minutes away, my house, they have lights also. So I'll go to that park, five minute walk, sit on the bench, look at the stars, and listen to some music. So listen to some music. I did some rap songs. You guys know, yeah. I mean, we heard all we heard all your raps. Yeah, I like listening to my rap songs. It pumps me up for the future. Obviously, when I'm gonna be king, I'm always cool with me. Obviously, it pumps me up. Obviously, and what? Yeah. Right. Take those, sit down on the bench, listen to music for a good hour, and have a smoke. Because I get my next check in the end of this month, my $650 check. So the money that I get, once I finish my book one read long, you guys know what I'm talking about. So all you Lord of the Rings fans, you guys are probably happy. Oh my God, Ivan is almost done. Ivan's almost done what? Ivan's almost done his Lord of the Rings read long. Yeah, man. After I, f oh my God. And once I finish my Lord of the Rings read long, you guys are going to be like, oh my God, Ivan actually did it. I haven't actually finished Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I f f finished book one of the Rings. Yeah, I read all of book one of the Rings. You guys, all you guys don't talk about, yeah, I remember when, uh, before Ivan was king, all you Lord of the Rings fans will tell you, know, yeah, I remember when Ivan, before Ivan was king, he read all of book one of Lord of the Rings for us. Yeah, I read Lord of the Rings, all of Lord of the Rings book one. Crazy, huh? And what? Yeah, and once I finish book one, I am done. I'm not making any more Lord of the Rings relong videos. And I'll pop out a few more sideways. I'm going to make that video. I'm going to dedicate... In depth about my f my four movies, I'll talk about Great Escape, they're unique and hit that movie in depth, like a nice like two hour video talking about that. I'm I don't need to talk about Zayn because Zayn I already gave you an in depth study of Zayn, so you guys know what I'm talking about. I already, I already gave you in an in depth study of Last Hope for Zayn, so you guys get an idea what my book is about. I don't want to spoil the story for you, hence why I don't need to talk about Zayn because I already gave an in depth study about Zayn, about the characters, <coughs> about the characters. lands the world the worlds the world i built like zanus safius barak cyrus the gilius mountains in the north the gilius mountains in the south the city's edge the river of tinus the forest of galathia the valley of the dark i gave you i gave you an in-depth study of on the, on my land of zanus obviously so my world building isn't as top-notch as what 
as Lord of the Rings, but the story's better than Lord of the Rings, obviously. And you're looking at an amazing book once you remember. Once you remember, you guys are like shocked. Holy shit, I can't believe I even wrote this. My wife would be shocked. Oh my God, Ivan, I can't believe you wrote this book. This book is so amazing. Yes, yeah, sweetie. This book is amazing, you know what I'm saying? Right? You guys will all be shocked. Fucking shocked because I wrote a masterpiece. My book isn't perfect because it has some flaws. There's flaws in my book, obviously. As no book is perfect. My, I wrote the almost perfect book. As you're looking at what? You're looking at amazing, what? An amazing, an amazing what? An amazing book, man. You're looking at a fucking amazing book. That's why if you adapt that book, that kind of story to the big screen, you put a lot of money into it, you're looking at the best story ever told in motion picture. One of, if not the best story ever told in motion picture. You're looking at one of the best stories told in motion picture. You're looking at an amazing story for that. There's a high chance I'll be hiring guys like Peter Jackson. Or Mel Gibson to direct my movie. Or there's a high chance I'll direct myself. You guys already know. You guys can see the future. Yeah, we know, Ivan, if you're going to hire a director, direct yourself. Yeah. You guys know I have the keys. You can see the future. You guys know if I'm going to be hiring a director or what. Or directing myself. Something tells you I'm going to end up directing myself, man. Because, because I don't want anyone ruining my story, man. My story is my Zayas is my fucking baby. I don't want anyone ruining it, man. I don't want anyone ruining that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want anyone ruining my story. And once I take those that walk to the park, so once I finish my book one read along, which is the end of October, around Halloween, around there, around Halloween, I'll be finishing my Lord of the Rings read along around there, October 30, 31st, around there. And around that time, I should be finishing and going over my novel too. But once I finish going over my novel, I'm going to save my hotmail, save it to my hotmail, delete my other files, save it to my hotmail. My book is now officially ready to be released on Lulu, obviously. So my wife will be trying for joy. I'm like, oh my god, Ivan, Ivan, Ivan's book is ready to be released on Lulu. Yeah, yeah, sweetie, my book is ready to be released on Lulu. And now what? And now all I have, I got me and my wife's, I made, I got me and my wife's money. I got our billions, which you're welcome, sweetie. I got you and me, me, you and me's billions, obviously. I had the keys. I told you, even though these keys really piss me off and I have anxiety and I trip. You know what I'm saying? No, Ivan, we know how bad you, you trip with the keys. Yes, my keys are very bad, obviously. I trip. It's so bad, I'm even scared to think, man. I'm scared when I'm in public, I'm scared to think all these thoughts. Because I'm scared people will judge me for what I think, obviously. Whereas VJ, even though she has the keys, she doesn't care what she thinks, obviously. Because VJ is used to the keys. Whereas I'm not used to the keys, obviously. But over the years, I'll get used to it. Like, once I experience that fame, also, I'm going to get I'm gonna get a lot more used to the keys, obviously. I'll get better with the keys. But God gave me the keys for a reason. He gave me the keys. Hey, look, Ivan, I, I have to give you the keys. If you don't have the keys, you're going to have to sell to the gatekeepers. And if I so, if I didn't have the keys, I'd, I'd have to, if I wrote this book, I'd have to sell to the gatekeepers. My wife would be trash. As I got a trashy wife, which is fucking gross, obviously. Trash out the words. And me and her would be sharing with the world because you guys are reprobate. Yeah, I know the world's so blind. They want to have me and my wife share. The world's so reprobate and blind by their enemy. They want to have me and her share. Forever for the for the rest of our lives, obviously, because the world's reprobate and blind by their envy, obviously. Because you guys are so blind by your envy, you reprobate. You know what I'm saying? You just can't let go of your envy. You won't have me and wife share for the rest of our lives forever. Because you guys are fucking crazy people, man. You're psychopaths, and you're nothing but a mess of what I made. That's why you trap me with death. That's why you're willing to even go to the extreme and trap me with death because you don't want me being my wife, obviously. You don't want me being my wife. You don't want me being my wife, obviously, because you guys are so heavy so relationship, obviously. Yeah, I mean, we don't want you guys being together because you guys are the perfect couple, you know what I'm saying? We don't want you being together. Hence, you're willing, you guys are willing to even go to the extreme and trap me with sharing our death. Because, 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 you know, you, 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 oh, let's see if we can trap Ivan with death. Let's see if Ivan has the guts to die for his wife. That way he can share with all of us when we were saved. We get our full, full cake because you guys are fucking wicked people. You want your full... Your full, full kick. Yeah, after causing mess in, I, in, in Ivan's life with V, the fucking fucked up mess with VJ, we still want Ivan to just share for his life. Because we want to destroy the relationship. We want the relationship to be a mess. We don't want the relationship to work. Because you guys are at, at blind by everything. You're fucking wicked people, obviously. And you somehow think you have, again, you somehow think you have control over my relationship when you don't. I'm going to keep asking this question, world. 
Who the fuck gave you the right to have control of my relationship? Who gave you that right, man? When I came here with my wife, who the fuck gave you the right to have control of our relationship? Oh, no, and I mean, we're just, we're just envious. Yeah, so because of your envy, you, I'm mean, turning you on. You somehow think you have control of my relationship when you don't. Because you're fucking crazy people, man. No, I mean, I'm going to keep asking this question to you. Who gave you the right to have control, to think you have control of my relationship? Oh, uh, nobody did. Yeah, no one gave you that right. You're not fucking God. Me and my wife are God. No one gave you that right to have control over our relationship. You're just fucking, because of your envy, you somehow think you do because you're fucking crazy people, man. You're nothing but a mess of white made, man. Yeah. I'm like you saying this, well, you better enjoy, <coughs> you better enjoy this amazing miscellaneous series that I'm pumping out, as you only have about, I don't know, 16 days left to me on YouTube, man. For the, for the 24th, on around November 10th, I'm making that final announcement. I told you, during that time, after I make, after I finished my book one relaunch, and I went over my book, I'm gonna, at night time, around 1 or 2 o'clock, I'm going to go to the park, sit down on the bench, listen to music, and I'm going to have a smoke and look at the stars, and just enjoy myself. I'm do that every night. To enjoy myself, because I know all hell's gonna break loose for innocent, righteous Ivan Amara. Honestly, I know you guys are gonna trap me. You're gonna sit my step on. You're gonna sit me upstairs. Again, you guys somehow think you have control of my relationship when you don't. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Ivan, you have to share with us. Like, so, who gave you the right to have control of my relationship when when you she's Ivan, your wife, and mom, your fucking husband? Who gave you that right? No one, Ivan. We're just envy. So, because you're envy, you somehow think you have control of my. You somehow think you have control of my relationship and have me in your share when you don't. Because you're fucking crazy people, man. No one gave you the right to have control of relationship. You somehow think you have control of relationship when you don't, obviously. Now, Ivan, if you, if you sell, you have to share with all of us. So you think you have control of relationship when you don't. Because you're fucking crazy people, obviously. And you thought you can dupe me. But look, man, I figured the puzzle, out, I figured the puzzle pieces out of the game. I'm not going to shoot like that. I am choosing death. As I want Vijay all to myself. I don't want to be sharing with all these dirty fucking women. And Vijay doesn't want to be sharing with all these dirty men. That's fucking gross, obviously. At the same time, I know my wife is trash. You think, like, you guys think, you guys thought you can do me. Yeah, let's see if I, we do buy Ivan and he gets a trashy wife. My guys, I'm not fucking stupid. I know my wife is a porn star. She had sex with a lot of men. And because a lot of dirty men touched her, I know my wife is trash. She's fucking trash. She's fucking gross. And if, if I was with Vijay, the relationship wouldn't work. She'd see, she sees hell every night. She'd cry every night. Me and her are sharing with a bunch of men and women. At the same time, she's trash. Just fucking girls. I'm holy, man. I'm fucking holy. If I would if, if I saw her look down, I wouldn't even want to have sex with her. That's fucking gross. Victoria Justice is fucking trash. She has herpes. She has gonorrhea. She has what? Syphilis. She has all that stuff. She has warts. You know what I'm saying? She has pimples. All that stuff. She's trash. White trash. And I would never ever do that. It's fucking gross. And that's what those men got. You guys thought you can do me. Let's see if Ivan do Ivan. Ivan gets a trashy wife. He shares, he shares with all of us, and BJ gets even more trash. You know, Ivan, Ivan's trash too. You know what I'm saying? VJ sees hell every night because you guys are wicked people. You see, VJ sees hell every night. She, because we can't see Ivan, VJ can't see him either. Even though VJ is the only one who deserves to see him because VJ is my wife. We have eternal history together. She's my nature. Well, you guys are not meant for me. And you guys know that, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Same time you guys see our glory. So I get a trashy wife. Which is fucking gross. Because you guys are trash and you get stinky dirty sex, Ivan gets stinky trashy sex too, obviously. VJ gets a trashy husband, Ivan, obviously. VJ sees hell just like we see hell. Because you guys want your full cake, obviously. Now, same time, we, we get to see Ivan's glory every day in the public eye. Ivan and VJ are not King Coon. They don't have financial control. We don't want them being billionaires. We want them to be sabotaged, you know what I'm saying? Same time, every night when you dream, you don't see our spirits, but you see our flesh. Because you want you guys want your full, full cake, man. You're fucking crazy people. You know, Ivan, we want our full, full cake. Yes, man. You guys, you guys are so fucked up. You, no matter what, you want your full, full cake. No matter what. Yeah, Ivan, we want our full, full cake because we're fucking selfish people. Yeah, man. You're selfish people and you want your full, full cake. You know what I'm saying? Ivan and Vijay are not king, queen. They're sabotaged. They're sabotaged in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? They're sabotaged in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? I can keep going. What else? Right? You know what I'm saying? The same time, what Ivan and Vijay do not get the glowing beauty, because we don't we don't want I we don't want the like, Ivan and Vijay we don't want Ivan and Vijay to get the up to, to get the glowing beauty. We don't want Vijay to have full handsome full grown beard. Ivan alter so we don't want Ivan to have Vijay with the glowing beauty. Obviously, the, the, the more updated Vijay, yeah, you don't want me having the updated Vijay. Obviously, the same time, me and my wife would age. Obviously, 
So if I was if I sold out Victoria Justice would age. So I don't know, when she's fifty years old, she would age. She would she would be older, obviously. VJ would still be smoking hot at fifty, but I told you I want a younger VJ. I don't want an older VJ, obviously. And VJ doesn't want an older Ivy. She wants if I was fifty years old, I'd still be handsome, obviously, but I would age. So me and my wife would age, we would live forever, we'd be together, but our relationship would be a mess. Because we'd be constantly be sharing with all these people, man. And guaranteed if me and her share, she would share the relationship would end. I'll tell VJ, hey, look, VJ, there's no... Let me ask this question. If you're going to have me and VJ be together and share, what's the point of What's the point of their relationship? You know, I mean, we know the relationship, there's no point. Like, yeah, what's the point of the relationship if me and her have to share? Because you guys are crazy psychopaths and you're blinded by your envy. Because we can't see Ivan, he has to share with all of us. So you, because you can't see me have sex, you somehow think you have the right, the, the, the supposed right to have control of relationship and have me and her share. In order for, for Ivan to have VJ all to himself, you know what I'm saying? He has to he has to die for that. So you again, you think you have control of relationship when you don't, because you're crazy fucking people. All because you're dumb and because you guys are crazy psychopaths, obviously. You're fucking crazy people. Hence why VJ said what? Look at what a mess we made. Yeah, man. Look at what a mess we made, obviously. You guys are nothing but a fucked up mess that me and my wife made. And that's why you guys are pissed. Oh my god, I haven't figured it out. Yeah, man, I figured out the puzzle of the game. Okay, if I sold out, VJ would be trash. I, I'm getting trash leftovers. I'm getting leftovers of trash, obviously, which is fucking gross. VJ will get more trash by sharing with more dirty men, obviously. I'll get more trash by sharing with all these dirty women. Because if I sold out, I'd be infected, obviously. <coughs> if I sold out, I'd be infected. I'd be both me and her would be infected. The only way for you, the only way you guys will ever talk about me is if you can see me have sex when you dream about me, because you guys are fucking crazy. If, as long as we see I when we have sex, and we'll talk about it in the public eye. So if I sold out, you'd see my flesh, obviously, when you dream about me, but you wouldn't see my spirit, because you guys are fucking crazy. Because we can't see I when have sex, we're not going to talk about the public eye. Because you're fucking crazy people, man. You take not seeing me have sex so fucking personally when it's none of your fucking business, obviously. There's many people in the world who are attractive on the outside, okay. But even then, I don't give a shit. I, I'll never know what it's like for this woman to have sex. I don't give a shit. It was Ivan, you have to see him have sex. It was Ivan and VJ, you have to see them have sex because you're fucking crazy people, man. You're nothing but a mess of what I've made, man. Obviously. The only cool thing, the only cool thing, the only cool thing, the only cool thing about me selling is that you would see Ivan and VJ's fame in the public eye, obviously. But me and her would not be king and queen. We'd be dirty slaves. The step families would be... My set family and Vijay's set family, they'd be king and queen, obviously. We would not be king and queen. We'd be dirty slaves. You'd see me and Vijay on the red carpet. You'd see me on Jimmy Fallon show. You'd see me and her doing movies. But I guarantee you our careers would be sabotaged. And even if our careers wouldn't be sabotaged, we're still not king and queen. The Hollywood companies own us. We're dirty slaves and we're not free. The Victoria Justice guaranteed we cry every night. I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. This relationship won't work out. The relationship won't work. Because Vijay's constantly hooking up with men, which is a sh So again... While I'm dating my wife, my wife is constantly having sex with guys. You don't, you guys don't even see your wickets. That would crush me. If I know my wife is banging another guy, that would fucking crush me. In another room, that would crush me, obviously. And my wife knows that Ivan's banging another woman, that would crush my wife, obviously. And you guys don't see your wickets. Yeah, we know the relationship won't work. Yeah, we know the relationship won't work if we, if we both meet her with a share. Because you guys are wicked people, obviously. You're nothing but a mess that me and wife made. Because you're fucking wicked people, man. But hence why in the Bible it says what the wicked are separate from God... They're separate from me and my wife's glory. And only the righteous are saved. And the wicked, the wicked are separate from God for eternity. The reason why they say for eternity is because Ivan and Vijay are never making any videos on their Sabbath's channel once they're king and queen, obviously. And you're separated from us for eternity, obviously, forever. As me and my wife are never making any videos on the Sabbath channel again. As I told you, once I'm king and my wife's queen with me, me and her will be living the life. We'll be feeling so on top of the world. And we're going to totally forget about this. Once we're movie stars and we're, and we're doing all this amazing stuff in our personal life, me and her will totally forget about what? Our Sabbath channel. VJ will forget about her old life. So VJ is supposed to be living the life right now, obviously. She's supposed to be living the right the life right now. But what? But VJ is what? VJ is supposed to be living the life right now, but VJ is what? VJ VJ is a dirty slave. She's not free. And she knows her career sabotage. I mean her sold out. The, 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 you guys will win the game. VJ and what? VJ and Ivan would what? VJ and Ivan would... Our life would be miserable. That's why God gave me these keys. Even though these keys really piss me off. The anxiety trip, all that stuff. God gave me these keys that way. Okay, Ivan, I'm going to give you the keys that way what? That way you don't have to sell to any gatekeeper because I want you and your wife to be free and rich and be king. Me and, wife, me and my wife came here 
to be king, queen. We didn't come here to be dirty slaves and not be free. We came here to get our freedom, to be rich, to get our financial control, and to be, to be, to be king, queen. That's why God gave me the keys. That's why God gave both me and Vijay the keys. That oh, we don't. Vijay got duped, obviously. I'm sure Vijay regrets selling, obviously. Oh my God, I can't believe I was so stupid to sell. I had the keys. Yeah, Vijay, you had the keys and you got the Seth families duped you, obviously. They duped you, you might, Vijay, you didn't need to sell. All you had to do was write your own book and you would have made your billions. So Vijay knows she got duped, obviously. Whereas me, I did not get duped. I wrote my own book. Yeah, you're welcome, sweetie. I wrote my own book. I made, I, have, I made our billions, obviously. I made money for me and her. I had the keys. All I have to do now is pay this bullshit fee, obviously. Hence why when I go to the park and I sit down, And I sit down on the bench. I sit down on the bench. I see the stars. I look at the stars. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prepare myself mentally. Because I know all hell's going to break loose. I know. And, then, right, and then once I make that final announcement. That is. I'm going to say this. Is it for Ivan and Mary? You guys are going to be like. Oh my god. Ivan, are you really done man? Is Ivan really done man? Like fuck man. I'm like yes I'm done. You can get angry all you want, but look, man, you had your, you made the wrong, you, you could have, you would have seen me in Ice Glory. You guys know this, man. You guys would have seen me in Ice Glory. You know what I'm saying? The public eye, no mess in our lives. You would have seen that amazing glory in Hollywood with I and VG doing radio interviews, Comic Con, seminars, YouTube videos, you know what I'm saying? Movies, magazines. You would have seen that amazing glory. You would have seen it, and you, you let your W go, oh, you want to see them have sex so bad. And in doing so, you know, causing mess and killing Ivan and having Vijay cry all these heavy tears. Ivan and Vijay are guaranteed going to peace on I set the whole thing up, obviously. And you guys can't say shit. I shut you for good. You're wicked people. And you guys, if you get angry when I make that final announcement, oh my god, is Ivan really done, man? And look, man, you had your choice. You had your opportunity. You could have let me and White be together. You would have seen that glory, but you let your devil guy take over. You caused this fucked up mess in my life. Uh, as I told you, the mess haunts me every night. It's not a day goes by when I don't think about the mess, honestly. VJ knows what I'm talking about. Well, yeah, Ivan, I know I know the mess haunts you. Yes, man. The mess haunts me, and it, you know what I'm saying? As I told you, VJ told me what happened with those men. She would crush me, and I'd piece the fuck out, and I wouldn't want to be with her. I'd be like, yeah, VJ, I don't want to be with you. You're, you're nothing but a fucking mess. She would crush me, man. She would crush my heart, obviously. As you guys can see, yeah, we know if VJ told Ivan about the mess, she would crush Ivan's heart. Ivan would cry his eyes like a baby. I wouldn't even want to be through it, and it would destroy my confidence too. It would destroy my it would destroy my confidence in the relationship, obviously, because VJ has been intimate with so much men. Obviously, it's a crushing thought to know that many, many men, many, many men touched your wife and they were intimate with your wife, man. VJ took off her clothes and she had they had mad sex together, man. It's a fucking shitty feeling, man. Because I told you, because VJ is and she's special, obviously, she's a goddess. Those men went berserk on her. They went. You're looking at a fucking horror show. In, in, in her business life, you're looking at something a horror show, as well as her personal life. All the all what happened behind the scenes, you're looking at a fucking horror show. Those men were fucking dogs or animals. They all went crazy on her, obviously. That's why VJ me messed up, obviously, because she's having so much sex with all these with all these attractive male me also, obviously. You know, I mean, I struggled to fight off the animals. Oh, this man was so attractive, I couldn't help it. You know, what I'm saying oh, I struggled to fight him off. You know, what I'm saying we were having so much sex. I love the sex, and we just kept hooking up, and that led to the mess, obviously. But even though VJ messed up, because VJ's God and she's blue, she obviously knew what she was doing. Obviously. Yeah, even though even though I was hooking up this man, you know what I'm saying, we had our good moments. Oh, I still knew what I was doing. Yeah, she knew what she was doing. She, she was just stupid. VJ was just stupid, obviously. She took me for granted. She was just stupid, obviously. Obviously, right? Right? Yeah, and once I make that final announcement, you guys know, you can see the future. I'm going to say this. Okay, world, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is it for Ivan Amara. I'm, I'm officially peacing out for good. I hope you will enjoy this series. The series we missed for journeys to follow. You know what I'm saying? I hope I wish you guys made the right choice. I hope you guys learn from your evil and your wickedness. Because you guys are fucking wicked people. You, you, you're going to break every mark on the book. This is Ivan Amara. I'm going to say this. You, you, oh my God. Ivan's really peace out for good. Yeah, man. This is Ivan Amara. I'm officially pe I'm signing out. I'm officially peacing out for good. Fishy signing out. I'm going to say peace. And once I say that, I'll add this if for Ivan Amara and I'm not making any more bills for you. So all these daily bills I'm pumping out for you, you better fucking enjoy it. Because once I am king and wise king with me, I am peacing out. And then I'm going to let, and once I make that final announcement, I'll, I'll give it a couple days. I don't know, two, three days. I'll go, I'll take a few walks at the park, have a smoke. And a couple days later, I'm going to go upstairs and tell my family, hey guys, I'm done my book.
I'm gonna say I'm telling my hey guys, I'm done my book. I'm gonna tell my step my stepfather, my stepmother. Hey guys, I'm done my book. You know what I'm saying? Hey guys, I'm done my book. I need your help. I want to get my book self published. I want to get my book self published. I'm gonna sincerely tell them, hey guys, I need your help. I'm not joking around. I need your help. I want to get my I want to, I to finish the book. I want to get my book self published on Lulu. Tell them not that way they know. Because of the gatekeepers, I have to tell them that. Because they locked all the doors on me. VJ Step found me with the gatekeepers too, obviously. And once I make that final announcement, within a week or a couple of days later, they're gonna sit me up. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna know I'm gonna know the time has come when they say I haven't come how much you want to talk to you about your book. And they, I come upstairs and they talk to you about my book. And that's when I'll know, that's when I'll know what. That's when the true colors will show, obviously. You're looking at something scary like the mafia, obviously. And VJ will be listening in. Obviously. You're going to see, you're going to hear VJ. Because I have the keys. Because VJ is connecting me, VJ will be listening in. You know what I'm saying? She'll be listening in to the conversation. Obviously. obviously. And VJ's family, they're the gatekeeper too. So they're, all, they're, they're both a part of this, obviously. VJ, and, and the moment, the moment my step family is sitting me upstairs, that's when VJ's family's true nature will come out too, obviously. Because VJ's family are, and my family are both a part of this. Because they're both the gatekeepers, obviously. The, 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 the royal families are. They're both the gatekeepers, hence what? And so they're gonna, they're, 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 they're both the parts, obviously. As I told you, the whole, all the porn, all the porn, the porn what? The porn fee that I'm gonna pay, obviously, that's already set up, obviously. But I guarantee you, I don't know, sometime when I started making my miscellaneous series, when I started pumping my, when I started pumping up my videos and Seth found me and you all was working on a book, they already start, they already set everything up. Okay, and then a couple years from now, Ivan's gonna make that announcement, let's set everything up. They hired the best, because I'm why, they obviously hired the best people in the porn business. To film my videos, obviously. Just like VJ's videos, they probably hire the best porn people in the business. Because VJ's a goddess, obviously. VJ's an, obviously. For, for my videos, they're going to hire the best the best cameraman in the porn business. They're going to hire all the Hollywood women, obviously, sign up to have sex with us. I want a piece of that before I even be with VJ. Because they're fucking wicked people, obviously. So you know you're going to purposely cause mess in my life. But because you're selfish and you, and you want a piece of Ivan, you're willing to cause mess in VJ's life. All because you're, you're selfish and you're envy. I want Ivan too, and you're willing to cause message me just like, but you're fucking wicked people, as I would never do that to you. Yes, I have a mental illness, but I told you, in spite of my mental illness, I would never do this to someone else. It's fucking evil. In spite of my envy, even if I wanted that woman so bad, and I wanted that, that you know what I'm saying? And I wanted that man so bad, I would never cause mess in life, because it's an evil thing to do. The fact that you guys did this, so you guys did this to me and my wife all because of your envy of our beauty and our relationship. So because of your envy of everyone wanting Ivan and VJ, and the envy of our beauty, you want to cause mental lives because of that. Like you, that's your fucking logic. So because I and VJ are so beautiful, and the perfect couple, we have to cause mental lives because of our envy. Because you're fucking the fact that we're God and we're beautiful, you should respect us because we're royalty. P Prince Harry and all of them, they're royalty. They're royalty in, on in status, right? But me and my wife were true royalty because I have green blood. She has blue blood. We're true royalty, and she should respect us. As I told you, have the step families let me and my wife. Be, open the doors for us and let me in her beauty because you would have seen that amazing glory with I and VJ as kids, teenagers, and adults. You know how Prince Harry and them, you see their fame in the public eye? You would have seen I and VJ growing, living the lavish life with the step, with the step families, obviously. And they would have opened the doors for us. They would have, we would have made our money, obviously. They would have obviously created a will for us. Okay, Ivan, we're going to open the doors for you. We're going to open the doors for you, VJ. You guys can do your commercials, all that stuff in Hollywood. And at 18 years old, me and my wife would have most likely moved in together. Me and my wife would have been together, and at 18 years old around them, we would have, we would have moved in together. And you would have seen Ivan and VJ with a glowing beauty at a young age. Because me and my wife probably would have hooked up at, around, at our teens, we probably would have hooked up, because we're fucking inseparable. Around 13, 14, me and my wife would have hooked up around there. We would have, you would have seen Ivan and VJ in the glowing beauty with the glowing beauty as kids and all that stuff. Because you separated us for 30 years, me and my wife were going to get the glowing beauty when we meet each other for the first time, when we first have sex. That's when you're going to first see Ivan and VJ. With the glowing beauty, obviously. And you guys made this fool. You guys, yeah, Ivan, we saw that amazing glory. It was fucking amazing seeing your glory, man. We were saved. But man, you two turned us on. We just couldn't help it. We were fucking envious. We all wanted you. We wanted all VJ. We, wanted, we all wanted a piece of We all wanted to see you have sex. We had to separate you guys. Yeah, it hit you. Let your W every take over. And you knew you'd get bullshit sex. And now that you got your bullshit sex with me and VJ, now what? When me and VJ are king, queen, you're not left behind. You're not saved. Yeah. I'm going to read Lord of the Rings here, as promised. I'll read four pages. So I'll read 230 to 230, 233. Then I'll end my read-along for today, and I'll continue babbling on as usual, as I'm sure you guys prefer when I babble on, obviously. 
So this is chapter 11, A Knife in the Dark. As I prepared for sleep in the end, I breathed. Darkness lay on Buckley. A mist strayed in the stalls along the riverbank. The house at Crick Hall stood silent. Fatty Bulger opened the door cautiously and peered out. A feeling of fear had been growing on him all day, and he was unable to rest or go to bed. There was a brooding threat in the breathless night air. As he started out in the gloom, a black shadow moved under the trees. The gate seemed to open of its own accord and close again without a sound. Terror seized him. He shrank back, and for a moment he stood trembling in the hall. Then he shut and locked the door. The night deepened. There came the soft sound of horses led with stealth along the lane. Outside the gate they stopped, and three black figures entered like shades. These are black riders, right? Like shades of night creeping across the ground. One went to the door, one to the corner of the house on the other side. And there they stood as still as the shadows of stones. While night went slowly on, the house and the quiet trees seemed to be waiting breathlessly. There was a faint stir in the leaves, and a cock crowed far away, the cold hour before dawn was passing. The figure by the door moved. In the dark without moon or stars, a drawn blade gleamed, as if a chill light had been unsheathed. There was a blow, soft but heavy, and the door shuddered. Open the name of Mordor, said a, voice thin, said a voice thin and menacing. A second blow of the door yielded and fell back, with timbers burst and lock broken. The black figures passed swiftly in. At that moment, among the trees nearby, a horn rang out. It rent the night like fire on a hilltop. Awake, fear, fire, foes, awake. Fatty Bulger had not been idle as soon as he saw the dark shape crease. So dark riders are now in Bree, right? He knew that he must run, um, the dark, the, the black riders, right? He knew that he must run for it or perish, and run he did out of the back door, through the garden over the fields when he reached the nearest house more than a mile away. He collapsed on the doorstep. No, no, he was crying. No, not me. I haven't got it. It was some time before anyone was looking for the ring of the black riders, right? Could make it out what he was babbling about. At last they got the idea that enemies were in Buckland. Sorry, the black they're not they're not in Bree. They're right? No, they're they are in Bree, sorry. When he reached the nearest house more than a mile away, he collapsed on the doorstep. No 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 he was crying. No not me, I haven't got it. It was some time before anyone could make out what he was babbling about. At last they got the idea. The enemies were in Buckland. Some strange invasion from old forest and they lost no more time. Fear, fire, foes. Let me shut my camera for a sec.